Happy day, everybody. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. I'm here with JB. Hello. There we are. So, guys, I decided I'm going to vlog the next two days. Um, so, it's just going to be in this one vlog. But because tomorrow, the 24th, is our wedding anniversary. And I want to vlog it for you guys because we're planning, like, on doing, like, some fun things. Personally, I kept forgetting about our wedding anniversary. JB didn't, surprisingly. Um, I kept doing it, um, even last night at the Halloween party, I completely forgot that our anniversary was Monday. So I'm making plans, figuring out what we're having for dinner tomorrow and Monday, talking to JB about it. And then we got home and I was like, oh yeah, our anniversary's tomorrow, or on Monday. So JB took off work tomorrow. We're gonna do some fun stuff tomorrow, but tonight, we're gonna go for some dinner and we'll do that first. I'll tell you guys what we're doing after dinner, after dinner, okay? But tonight we're going to dinner at this new fa place. Um, it is called Fireball. The Fireball here in Hazleton, PA, up in town. Um, it used to, it, uh, a restaurant in the building closed down and that Fireball place like went in pretty quick, so good for them. But our friends, Danielle and Bree, who you guys have seen in plenty of vlogs and plenty of everything else, um, they went here and they said it was really, really good. So we're like, let's go try it and then do that and then go, you know, just stay tuned, guys. I'm not gonna tell you what the hell is going on. But all I'm gonna tell you is that JB and I are super excited to try this fa place. Um, and see what it's all about. So come along. Come along with us. Spend our anniversary with us. Why not? All right, I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, guys, here is the place. And look at, they have milk tea. I want to try that. And there's the fa. I am super excited. Here is the menu. I got a house milk tea, and JB got a Thai iced tea. I was gonna get the banana one, but I wanted to try the house one. So, we'll see how it is. Here's our teas. This is the house. And JB got, what is it? Thai milk. Oh, Thai milk tea. Oh, I thought you got the other one. Oh, yeah. Ooh, get one of the bubbles. Is it good? Oh, you got one? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. They're like gummy, gummy. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, let me do mine. Okay. I saw people like jam these in there. Try that. I'll try yours. Mm. You taste like green tea. Ooh. Yours is good. Mm. This one is good. This one tastes like tea. Yeah. It's just like tea tea. I thought it was like their house tea. Like their like their their signature one or something. Yeah. That's like Mm -hmm. Yummy. JB got fried tofu stir fry with a Thai mix of vegetables. And a Thai sauce. It's Thai sauce with white rice. And I got the chicken farm. I was eating the stir fry too. I'm happy you did. That looked good. Mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. <clears throat> What's this, JB? What is this? Bean sprouts. I'm supposed to eat that? It's for putting in your pho. Oh, cool. Thai basil, lime, jalapeno. Oh my gosh, cool. Thank you. Look at JB. Look at 
That looks really good. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Look at that. Oh my god. JB's trying his. Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Hold on, I want to try yours first. Mm -hmm. Tofu is very good. I got a piece of that, right? Yep. Mmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. How do I add my stuff? I don't know how to do it. Mm -hmm. Gross. I don't know. I feel like a witch. <laughs> What do these taste like? Like basil. Mm. Oh my god, I can't believe how big this is. And then, of course, some of these things. I want to try the broth first. Mm. Mm. How do you want to try it, Chibi? Yeah, actually, let me, I'll send a picture to my dad. Mm. Yeah, um, it's interesting. Yeah, how do you want to try it? Here, do I mean. Here, do I use this? Okay. Right, I don't know how I'm to <laughs> I know, this is hard. Are you okay? Mm. Should I add anything? I don't know if I should add anything else. I don't know what I'm doing. Mm. I think it needs more chili sauce. Mm -hmm. right. oh, wow. Mm. It's great with it. You can really taste the cilantro. Mm. And the basil. That's what I mm. taste. Mm. That's what I taste the cilantro. I knew there was something in here. Mm. I knew it. I knew it. Called it, called it, called it. Ooh. Okay. Well, <laughs> we're going for it. We're going for it. When life hands you too much chili sauce, you roll with the punches. And that's really it. I'm going to be on fire. Mmm, so good, so, so good, mmm, I have this in my hands. This sauce on JB's food is so good. JB said he could eat a whole one of these. I said, yeah, I'm right. I mean, you probably could, but I want to doubt you so that I can watch you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I might get proof of you. Because <laughs> I can't imagine. Can't imagine. It's so, so good, though. If we weren't going to where we're going after this, I would eat more. I can't. Because it's so good that I won't be able to stop. I won't be able to. Mm -mm. All right, GB, what's your final review? Mm, that was excellent. I definitely will go back. One out of five? 
uh, five, man. Five? I give it a five, too. I really, truly do. I said to JB, I love how simple it was because there's only, like, there's appetizers and stuff, but otherwise there was only, like, kind of three other options. Like, you'd either, or, like, four. There was, like, pad thai, the pho. You guys saw the menu. The pad thai, the pho, the stir fry, and then there was, like, fried chicken, I believe, or crispy chicken dishes. So there's only four things you could choose from, but there are so many variations of the four things that you can choose from. So I thought that was really cool how simple it was. But yeah, I would definitely go back in a heartbeat. That broth was addicting. I wish I could have finished my soup, but there's no way that I'd be able to because now we're going to the movies, which I'm so excited about. We're both excited about it because now we're going to see Smile, which we've wanted to see. It's that... um Oh, don't worry, Darling was in the Cinema Draft House. Mm, I wanted to see that too, but I want to see Smile. So we're going to see Smile, guys. That scary movie that's out that everyone's talking about that's so, so scary, so, so nuts. We were hoping it was going to come on Amazon Prime so we could just buy it and watch it at home, but it never did. So we're like, let's just go see it tonight. I'm terrified. JV? Yeah, I'm curious to see what it's like. Are you scared? <laughs> Yeah, no, you're not. <laughs> so we're gonna see that, and that's why I was saying in the restaurant, I was like, um, I don't want to eat too much here because I do want to get like popcorn and candy and stuff. So I didn't want to eat too too much there. But the soup is really really good. I will definitely be eating it later or tomorrow, one hundred percent, one hundred ten percent. So GBS stop at Lowe's, and then we're heading to the movie theaters. So there you go. All right, guys, we're in the parking lot of the movie theater. JB, do you think the film is going to live up to the hype? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Oh, yeah. I guess we'll find out. I'm just making... Maybe I shouldn't make expectations. It's kind of hard to. Everyone was like, this movie's crazy. And I heard people were, like, getting sick in the theater and walking out and stuff. Yeah. It would uh, it'd have to be one hell of a movie for me to walk out. Oh. Yeah. So. All right, tough guy. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I feel like I'm like desensitized to it. Maybe, I don't know. I could be eating my words after this, but. Smiling them away. Or that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right guys, we'll let you know how it is. We'll let you know. I'm nervous. Guys, so we just got home. I'm gonna change while I talk to you guys. So we just got home from the movies. Um. Let's just say people are liars. That's that's basically the best way to put it. Right, JB? Yeah. Yeah. It was okay. It was okay. One to five, I give it a two. It was just way overhyped. It was way overhyped. And, like, okay, spoilers. So if you want to hear spoilers about the movie Smile, don't listen to this. Which is not really spoilers. But, like, what I'm going to say is, like, it was basically the movie The Ring just told in a different way it had a lot of the same like i don't know it wasn't it was okay let's just put it this way the guy that was a row below us like us the row and then another row he was asleep for like half of the movie so it was it was okay it was all right it was just really hyped up and i don't know it was okay not what we expected my biggest advice would be Wait till it comes out where you can watch it somewhere for free because it wasn't worth seeing it in the theater. It really and truly wasn't. Like, I could have waited till it was in the $5 bin at Walmart. <laughs> or just on TV, whatever. Like, I could have waited. Yeah, or on streaming, whatever. I said the $5 bin just as, like, something funny because that's where I just see it ending up in the future because it just... It, it was all right. Like, it relied also a lot on jump scares. So, like, you kind of, I don't know, like, there was a couple of times you jumped, but in a sense you were kind of expecting it, but not really. I don't know if that makes sense, but it was just okay, guys. It was just all right. So now we're going to change, and since GB has off tomorrow, we are going to uh, watch Game of Thrones because usually we have to wait till Monday to see it. But JB is off tomorrow, so now we get to watch it tonight, and tonight's the season finale. So we're super, super excited to watch that. Not Game of Thrones, it's House of Dragon, right? It's like in the Game of Thrones universe, but if you guys don't remember, we're like huge Game of Thrones fans. Well, when it was on, um, our dog's named, uh, Renly's named after a Game of Thrones character. 
uh, and this this season of the House of Dragon has been really, really good, like super good. So we uh, are gonna watch that, and then probably go to sleep. So we will see you guys in the morning. See you then for another adventure. Two thousand years later. So, you guys are going to be mad at me, and I hope you are not. <laughs> so, our anniversary was last week, guys, uh, the 24th, obviously, and I filmed that, what you, the clips you just saw on Sunday. Guys, I woke up Monday in the grumpiest mood, and it was rainy, and, like, I just didn't feel like doing anything that day. And I knew that we had a fun day planned and I wanted to enjoy it the best I could, even though I was like in a grumpy, not grumpy. It was just like, it was a long weekend. And then I got it Monday and I knew we had like such a fun day planned, but it was one of those days where you don't feel like doing anything, but like I wanted to go and have fun. I don't know how to explain it, but I didn't end up vlogging. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. But I can tell you at least what we did real quick. We went to Shroudsburg for the day, which was a lot of fun. Um, we've never really been there before. So it was that, like we have, but not like we were that day. So we stopped at like an antique mall, which was really, really cool. We walked around. We didn't really buy anything there. Um, but we did walk around for about an hour and looked at all the antiques and everyone's booths and all of that stuff. Then after that, we ran to Starbucks and then we went to the Salval in Stroudsburg, which I've never been to before and I was so excited. So I didn't film it, but I've also been torturing myself because I've had this bag of these awesome thrifted clothes in the breezeway for the past week and a half because I couldn't wash them and do anything with them because I wanted to show them to you guys. So many opportunities for me to wear so many of these things in this bag this past weekend. And I, and I couldn't because I didn't show you guys yet. So again, I'm sorry. Okay, so we went to the Salval, and then after the, we had Starbucks, we went to the Salval, and then we went to Target over there, which actually, I think I got this tank top there at Target. I didn't get too many things at Target, we just kind of like walked around. And then after that, we went to a really awesome restaurant called Sarah's Grill. And if you're ever in the Stroudsburg area, check out the Salval, check out Sarah's Grill. Sarah's Grill was very, very good, but it was a really fun day all around. I just didn't feel like filming. I didn't feel like doing anything, but I'm happy we did because it was a really fun day. I just, by the time I was like perking up a little bit after I had my cold brew in me, um, I just, it was too late to film. So again, I'm sorry, but I want to show you guys what I got at the Salval in Stroudsburg because they have like all name brand clothes guys like a lot of name brand clothes like more name brand clothes than I've ever seen at a thrift store and I'm not even like a name brand queen you guys know I don't really care about labels stuff like that like not really like I'm not like you know but this place holy cow um so I'm not gonna try these on these two items guys because they're pants and I just don't feel like putting them on but I did grab a pair of Aeropostale jeans. Uh, I think yellow is 50% off, I believe. But a pair of Aeropostale jeans and a pair of American Eagle jeans. I believe these are jeggings, but I liked that they were dark blue. Now the tops I will try on for you guys. Let me just put one on quick. And I'm so excited to show you guys. I'm so excited to wash these and I cannot wait to freaking wear them. Okay, so first up, I got this sparkly rainbow sweater. See the sparkles in it? They're like rainbow. I hope it's showing up on the camera. I wanted to wear this so many times this past weekend because look, it matches my nails. Like it matches my nails perfectly, but I couldn't, I couldn't wear it. I couldn't wear it. I had to wait to, sh I had to wait to show you guys. So, but I got this, couldn't pass it up. I think it's like from the eighties because the tag in it is super old, but I had to get this. I mean, look at it. It's, it's just me. I love a sparkle sweater. Look at, I look like nighttime. Love it. Love it. Love it. So the pink black sparkly sweater was Kate Collins. This uh, pink sweater that I'm wearing or like a peach it is J. Jill, and guys, this fabric is so freaking soft. Again, I wanted to wear it this weekend. I didn't, though, but there's plenty of weekends to wear it and plenty of times to wear it, and I just thought it was, like, so cute, so comfy. I wish I could give you guys more of, like, a full body shot. Like, there you go. There it is. 
There it is. There it is. But I couldn't pass this up. As soon as I put it on in the... Because I tried stuff on at this thrift store only because it's so far away. I mean, not like you could return it or anything, but I just really didn't want to waste the money um, and bring something home that didn't fit. So when I tried this on, it felt how soft it was. I was like, this is a keeper. Next up, I got this Simply Vera Vera Wang cardigan. It's a little tight. I'm hoping I could stretch it out just a little bit. It's a medium... Ugh, I'm like on the cusp of like, I'm in the large part, but I could fit in some mediums and I could fit in some extra larges. So I don't know. I don't know. But I had to get it. I just figured the more I wear it, the more, I mean, it does, I know, it looks like it's busting at the seams, but I don't care. I had to have it. Had to have it. And it has like these, like rib, like the, what is this called? I don't know. Uh, not ruffles. Ruffles? Ruffles, I don't know. It has like this ruffles. Here it is from the back view. See, super cute, super cute. I think the more I wash it and the more I wear it, I think it'll stretch out a little bit. And I wish it did have like a pin right here because I think that would just add to it. It doesn't and I'm not adding it. So, but super cute. And I, again, I think if I wear it more, it'll fit better. Next up, I got this Scandia, Scandia Woods sweater. I mean, just super cute. Look at these buttons. I love them. And it's just, it's so warm and it's so cute. Like, so, so cute. So I couldn't pass this up. And it's just, I love how, like, it's just open here and everything. It's just, I don't know. I love it. Next, I got this Forever 21 sweater, which this is a medium, but I feel like it's like one of those, one of those sweaters that like is supposed to be big on another person. <laughs> but I got this. It's like a beautiful lilac purple. I love how it's like distressed and everything. Um, I'm not super in love with the deep V. Like I probably wouldn't wear this green underneath it, even though it looks really like really, really good. I love purple and green together. I'd probably wear black underneath it. But here it is from the back view. And see how it's like all distressed on the bottom? Love that. Love it, love it, love it. And it's very, very comfortable. I'll show you this because I'm going to have this on underneath something else. But another little, another little top. Another little top. And this is Style & Co. But I wanted to show you that I got it because I'm going to put it on to put on this other shirt. See you in a minute. So, I put that tank top underneath this White House Black Market shirt. Look at this, guys. And I have to put it underneath because it is all lace. Like, it's all lace. So, I have to put this tank top underneath or you'd see, like, everything. You know. And I don't want you throwing up today, so. But White House Black Market? Hello? Oh, my God. Like, this is giving me Britney Spears. Britney Spears. If you know, you know what outfit I'm talking about. Okay? I'll try to find it and put a picture here. But you know what, what outfit I'm talking about, okay? You know what I'm talking about. Look at this. Like, this is a moment. This shirt is a moment, the moment, whatever. I don't really know. But this is everything. It's everything. 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 Here it is from behind, but, but from back farther. See, I'm wearing black jeans, so you can't see the bottom. Like, if I was wearing blue jeans, you'd be able to see, like, this part, but. I don't know where I'm wearing it yet, but I'm going to be ready when I do. <laughs> and last but not least, I got this Style & Co. shirt. Um, it's see-through, so I just kept, like, I just kept the little tank top underneath it on, but I thought it was super cute, and I can't wait to wear this. I am super excited. Like, I forgot how cute this was because I ran out of time on my... T I, I filmed a TikTok of this thrift haul, and I ran out of time, so I didn't get to try this on for TikTok, and I was like, why didn't I get that shirt? You know, and now I put it on, and I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, with my hair up, maybe... I don't know, but I think it's super cute and it's super comfortable. Super, super comfortable. So that's what I got at the South Val in Shroudsburg. So again, guys, I'm very, very sorry I didn't vlog that day. Again, I just wasn't in... I was in a good mood. I just didn't feel like it. You know, I'm trying to 
get back into vlogging because I realize how much I miss it. I will ne I could never go back to every day by myself, guys. Never. I don't know how I did that for that whole entire year. No freaking clue. Like, I think about it now and I'm like, how did I vlog every single day, edit every single night, and have a video out to you guys every single day? Like, it just, it blows my mind because I can't imagine doing that now at all by myself without help. But I'm also trying to separate my worlds. I am getting a camera soon um, and I'm trying to separate my world so I could have my camera for vlogging and my phone for TikTok and kind of um, separate the two into two things because it's just so hard doing everything on my phone. I'm not complaining. I love all the blessings I've been blessed with over the past year and a half. I'm actually 20 months sober today, November 1st, when I'm filming this. You guys will see this on the 2nd, but I'm 20 months sober today. And I'm very lucky and I'm not complaining. I'm just trying to work it all out so that I can film TikToks, film videos for you guys, film vlogs, do all that. I'm still working on it. I'm still working on it. But when I perfect it, mwah, it'll be beautiful. It'll be beautiful. But other than that, guys, I have nothing really to update you on. Everything's still going good. Everything's still going well. There's some fun things coming up um, this month that I'm super excited about. I'm not excited that it's November. Ugh. November reminds me of the color brown. But I have a couple things exciting coming up this month that I'm going to vlog or film or any of that stuff. Again, guys, like, subscribe here, hit that bell notification, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. Um, I'm out there. All Everything's listed below and everything's listed at the end of this video. Follow me on there so you guys can always keep up with me and see what I'm doing and what's going on. If you guys have been noticing, I'm just putting out a video a week because, again, I'm just, I'm just waiting. I have ideas. I have stuff going on. And I'm just kind of waiting because I have so many, like, good things to tell you guys. And I'm so excited. And, well, at least one good thing that's coming up soon to tell you guys. And I'm really, really excited. And I still want to keep you guys in the loop. And I still want to, like, I miss filming. I miss filming. It's just hard finding the time to. So, I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm going to go now, guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching on your phones, in your homes, or on your tablets. And I hope you have a great morning, afternoon, or night, whenever you watch me. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. You will definitely see me soon. So until the next one, you bye-bye. <laughs>